What were some of the trends you were seeing when you were, you know, networking with a lot of IT directors of law firms? Well, there was the that? initial phase of denial. Law firms aren't big enough. I'm not a big enough, you know, target. Well, the small law firm that works for a big company is the ideal target. Um, so a lot of what we saw was just the awareness. We went through a long period of time. There's one firm, um, popular firm, multinational firm that got compromised. And immediately after that, that sparked a lot of conversation. And able to, it was like literally, I think a month before the big conference. And so at the conference, everyone was just buzzing, talking about it. And after that, literally every firm that had a cybersecurity initiative got it approved. Um, so it was kind of nice. But what was, was what was the breach that happened there? Um, that was the big firm with the three letters that everybody knows. Um, they had built a system where every office could access every bit of data in every other office. And the okay. speed and the the slickness of which they could have that access turned out to be a big problem when they got ransomware, it could spread through site to site. So that's when we started evaluating, do I really need to have universal access to everything? Or do I need to be a little more granular? I think that was kind of the start, at least for law firms, that more of a zero trust mentality, least privileges. You know, do you really need to have access to this? What's the big deal if you have to authenticate one more time to get to this, you know, sensitive piece of data?